Hello, what I'm going to do today is another quick tutorial. It's going to be about archive creation and the reason I'm doing this, most mod authors probably know how to do it, but in case you're a new mod author and uh, I'm replacing a video on my channel which gives this information but in a bit of a roundabout way. So in the original video I demonstrated how to add the loose files together for a package but that's probably not the, uh, the best way to do it. So this is going to be a pretty simple process, so I've got the namespace tutorial that I made in my last video, but it doesn't matter um, anything about that, you don't need to know anything about that, you'll probably have your own archive that you want to make. So go into File, Create Archive, and it's going to pop up and it's going to show us um, all the things that our mod uses. Your mod will probably have loads more than me, but um, my mod just has only a few objects. And this is where namespaces become important, I should also add, because you can see here script slash tutorial slash new slash tutorial new script is the one I made in the last mod, in the last mod, in the last video. And what you can do is you can scroll through everything in your mod and you can check if anything's missing. And if anything is missing, you can be manually, it can be manually added. So if there's a script missing, you can whiz through your scripts and add it. Obviously easy if you've got a namespace. And also the game has a tendency to add things which really shouldn't be there so it can add default scripts so if you've attached a default script to a, an object it will appear in here and these are not needed these can overwrite um elements of other people's mods if other people are touching these scripts and it can also it's just unnecessarily inflating your file so i've removed those two objects which are in there when it doesn't need to be because all this mod contains is two scripts so i can now pack the files and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to give it the exact same name as my um, mod itself. So my mod is namespace tutorial dash main. So that's telling the game that this is the, the main archive. And what will then happen if you've got any textures in your file is a second screen will have appeared there. Just do the same thing. The name of your mod, so namespace tut dash textures and that's it that's the whole thing so that is now ready to be uh, uploaded to your your mod upload site of choice so hopefully that was useful hopefully that was uh, clear thank you for watching and goodbye